everyone, I'm excited to do this video because I've wanted to show you my little collection of paint pots and cream shadows. Um, for quite a while, I seem to be a little obsessed with collecting these and I will be the first to tell you that I am not done. I have my eyes set on uh, one of those Chanel ones. I think I'm going to bite the bullet and get one of those eventually. But this is what I have so far and I kind of wanted to show you what I have and how I use them. Actually today I have um, two of them on my eyes. It's a very light look, uh, but uh, I'll, let me just dive into it. Okay, here we go. Some of these are available in the United States. One of them is not, but to be fair, um, this was sent to me at least a year ago by a viewer. It's from the P2 line. It's called their Eyes Souffle. This one is in Dreamy Cream, and it looks like that. If you live in Germany, you can get this. If you don't, you cannot. Even though it's a year old, it's still very creamy. Um, that's what it looks like on the skin. These make great... Um, this one in particular, you could even use with a very light hand as a highlighter. A lot of these you could use... You could get creative. There's no set way to use them. This I picked up at the CCO. So I... No? Maybe I picked this up at the actual counter. I can't remember. It's an Estee Lauder... Double Wear Stay and Play Shadow Cream. This one's called Rich Bronze. And you know I will list everything in the description box, so don't worry if you miss the name. Comes in a pot like this. It has the gold thing. I never, I always forget I have this one. Um, I have used this. It's very pigmented. There it is. There's no, there's a faint satin finish to it, I'd say, but there's no shimmer. Um, I use this one all by itself. I've used this as a base for a smoky eye and put a, even a lighter shade on top of it will really pop out on a dark background. So um, it has a variety of uses. It does stay in place. It doesn't budge. I find that it doesn't really crease. But to be fair, I rarely put these pigmented, the deep, deeper pigmented paint pots over my crease. I usually just keep it to the lid and then blend with um, kind of a stiffer domed brush. Then the drugstore options, I only have two, and I think everyone owns these. These are the Maybelline Color Tattoo by iStudio 24 Hour um, Cream Shadows. They come in these little glass pots. They all come in glass, except for the P2, which is plastic. They all come in glass. I have two. I have Tough as Taupe, which is pretty much true to its name. It almost has a blue undertone to it, on camera at least, and I'm trying to find a finger. Looks like that, really smudged on, and there it is on my hand. Now, to be fair, when I put this on my eyes, I, I sheer it out with a brush or my finger. I 99% of the time apply these with my finger. If I were to use a brush, um, I would want to stick with a synthetic brush. Normal hair, can, it's just too fine. It'll get stuck in there and it's gross. The other one that I have that I have used quite a bit is the Bad to the Bronze. It's similar to the Estee Lauder Bronze, but it's a lot lighter. It's a lot more user-friendly, I think. And it looks like that by itself on my finger. And then I'll just smear that right next to the toe. It's just, it's so pretty. It shears up out a lot more. I find these, the Maybelline ones, the two that I have, very easy to work with. Then one that I picked up in, in the CCO, and before I go any further, I know I have new viewers all the time. So a CCO, for those of you who do not know, it stands for Cosmetic Company Outlet. That's it. And what it is that you can find them at an outlet mall, usually. There's one by me, um, not too far away, about 45 minutes away in the San Marcos Prime outlet malls. They're all over the place. Just get on the computer and, well, you're already on it if you're watching me, but Google um, CCO or go look up the directory in your nearest outlet mall and if you do a little hunting, I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll find one. And what they do is they carry brands that are owned by the Estee Lauder parent company. So that includes, obviously, Estee Lauder, as well as Clinique, MAC, Bobbi Brown, Origins, Donna Karen Fragrances, I believe. Someone is going to correct me if I'm wrong. 
that's pretty much the scope of uh, Clarence. No, not Clarence. Maybe Clarence. The ones, the big ones, are Clinique, Estee Lauder, Mac, and Bobbi Brown. So um, you can find some interesting things. Not so much. You just you never know. It's always kind of a crapshoot. Sometimes you're going to score, and actually they'll have normal foundation that you would want that you would get at the drug at the department store for a few dollars less. Most of the time, it's overstock of limited edition stuff. So this is going off on a tangent, but if you are going planning on going shopping at one, know how much stuff costs in the store so you know if you're really getting a deal or not, and um, be aware that usually there's a $300 limit. I myself have never gotten close, but there is a $300 limit per day, I think. So, okay. That being said, I picked this up at the outlet mall last month. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow, and I got this in Navajo and it's very neutral. This I use um, as a base. Like I wouldn't use wear this by myself, it would be odd. It's a matte white, of course, blended in on my eyelid. It basically just makes my eyelids opaque and covers, um, you know, veins and the translucentness of your eyelids. So that, and then I would put shadow on top of that. Now on to the paint pots. I love my paint pots. It's just, it's a sickness. There's a couple more I would like to get my hands on. One of them being Constructivist. I know I have colors similar, but not the same. Um, so the one, the first one I got, the one I've repurchased twice now is Soft Ochre. It's part of the um, permanent collection. It's a matte yellow based um, cream. And looks like that. And there it is on my hand. This I don't wear as eyeshadow. Again, I wear this one as a base. And I layer any and all colors on top of it. Then, um, let's see, I'm going to stay with the permanent collection first. Bear Study is my, the second one I got. And oh, I can't say enough good things about Bear Study. I usually put, the, now I don't know that this makes any difference at all in your makeup application, but it's, I, I do it every time. If I'm going to use more shimmery shadows and I really want that shimmer to be highlighted, I put this as a base. Sometimes I'll wear this straight on my lid and put the shadow on top. Sometimes I'll put soft ochre first as like my primer and then stick this on. Um, I never, it looks like this, it's very sheer. I never experience any kind of creasing with wearing shadows on top of paint pots, but I seem to have extremely good luck with eyeshadows. I maybe it's my dry skin. I rarely have creasing, <clears throat> and my shadows last all day long, all the time, no matter what they are, for the most part. Except for um, never mind. One drugstore brand doesn't seem to work. Just one of their quads, and I can't remember which one. Maybelline. But anyway, so um, I use this as a base or just by itself. I love it, love it, and I have. Oh, I blended it in. You can't even really see it. There it is. But I am wearing... I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing Bare Study on my lids with something on top. We'll get to that in a minute. The other permanent collection one I have is called Groundwork. It is another matte, kind of a very light brown tan. And it looks like this. And again, I wouldn't wear this all by itself. I mean, that's my preference. I would wear this with something layered on top. And uh, there's lots of tutorials already on YouTube by people that are actually talented makeup artists. So um, when I get a new product and I'm not sure what I want to do with it, I always go to YouTube and type it in and see what people have done. So good for ideas. Um, last of the permanent collection, this one is Rubenesque. My friend Katie gave this to me. She said it didn't do a thing for her. Um, or was this? I don't know. Or did a viewer send this to me? I don't remember. Anyway, um, I like it. It's a peachy, shimmery. It's in the same kind of color family as Rubenesque, that concept. Uh, it's kind of almost got a rose gold tint to it. There it is. And you know what? I lied. It's not Bare Study I have on today. It's Rubenesque. That's really caked on. It shears out quite a bit, but it's very pretty by itself on the lids. But I'll show you what I did later. So we'll put that to the side. Then these two are limited edition, but both of them I've seen recently in the CCO. So 
you never know what's going to show up there. So the first one was a birthday present, actually, and this is called Morning Frost. I have no idea what collection that was in. I don't really follow the MAC collections that closely because they irritate me. Um, and it's a shimmery champagne taupe, and it looks like that. Very pretty on the lids by itself. Very, very pretty. And it has a white cap instead of a black cap. And then the other one... Where did I put it? Oh, by my foot. Um, is Nubile. And I've heard a lot of people love this. And my friend Katie found this for me at the CCO. And I was just up there a month ago. And it's, or a few weeks ago. And it was still there. And to me, this is like what Painterly is to most people. Is Nubile is to me. It's another matte one. I use this as a base. I don't use this to wear by itself. And it has a more of a pink cast. If you can see, there's like a, a gap there. I dropped this on the floor. I'm shocked the glass didn't shatter, but the whole thing as one unit kind of like fell out. So I shoved the product back in. Uh, okay, after that introduction, very creamy. I don't know if it's because I dropped it, but it's extremely soft. It doesn't look like much, and there it is on my hand. When you rub it in, it's pretty much a pink toned version of soft ochre. Really good on, on um, medium complexion skin. If you're looking for something that's skin toned as a base, I think um, Nubile, if you can find it, would be a great, great option. Then there are two cream shadows I have in stick form. And the first one was also sent to me a while ago by a viewer, and I love it. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencil in Sin. And I need to sharpen it. Yeah. It's down a little stub, but it looks like that, and there it is on my hand. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So today what I did is I put Rubenesque down up into the crease, and then I let it, gave it 10 seconds or so to set, and then I went over the, over it with the Urban Decay, and, um, and then kind of smeared it with a Real Techniques dome brush, because it's a nylon or synthetic bristles, and just kind of blended it through the crease, and then just put on eyeliner. So that's what I did. And my most recent purchase, um, which I think is so fun, it's one of my favorite eyeshadows. It also comes in a, like a paint pot form, and now it's in a stick form. It's the Stila Smudge Crayon Waterproof Eye Primer Plus Shadow Plus Liner. This is kind of cool because I got it in Kitten. It comes in lots of colors, but I got it in Kitten. It's a roll-up, or roll it's retractable. And it comes to a point, it has a little sharpener on this side, which I have never tried because I have a feeling it will never work the way I want it to. But what's cool about this is you can use it to draw a little highlight with the point, or you can color in your whole lid um, and use it as a base or just use it as a color. The fact that it's waterproof is awesome for the beach. This would be great to just... Um, put on your lid, add a little waterproof liner, a um, little waterproof mascara, and you've got some kind of makeup for the beach. I have found that the MAC paint pots, they might not be waterproof, but they're extremely water resistant and they don't seem to go anywhere when I go swimming. Granted, I never immerse myself completely in the pool. I hate to get my hair wet, but that's just me. Okay, so there you have it. My paint pot and cream shadow collection all swatched for you on my hands. I am aware that there's not a lot of color variation in this collection. Um, I think we all tend to keep buying what we like, whether it's nail polish, lipstick, or in my case, cream eyeshadow. Anyway, if you have any questions, if there's something I forgot to mention, or I don't know, just about anything you can think of that I didn't mention in this video, as always, please comment below and I will do my best to answer you and um, hope you all are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.